Hi everybody, it's Miss Katie from Gail Borden Public Library, and I am so excited that you are here to watch our Countdown to Kindergarten Facebook videos. So for the month of August, each week we are going to talk about a different skill that will help your child get ready for kindergarten. So today, the first week, we are going to talk about scissor skills, right? Cutting is actually quite a difficult skill and it takes a lot of hand-eye coordination and hand strength to develop the skill. So I'm gonna go through a couple steps to show you some ideas about what you can do with your child to help build their scissor skills. The first thing that you want to know is you want to have the correct type of scissors. So I've put, I've grabbed a couple different kinds this is a Fiskars scissors. And the, the um, important things to know are that you want a blunt end um, because you don't want a really sharp end that, that's gonna be uh, not as strong for safety and you don't want little fingers on this. This is also a little bit bigger. So you wanna fit your um, scissors to your child's hand. So you want to have kids scissors um, for ages zero to six. So I have the Fisker scissors. I also brought colorations ones, and this is even um, even more safe because it's made out of plastic and the edges are are blunt, so um, and curved, right? You don't want um, you don't want a sharp edge like that, um, and you don't want adult scissors or even scissors for older kids. Um, you want to make sure that they are the right size this would be really hard to learn to cut with. So uh, the first thing that I have done is I've made a little snake out of Play-Doh. The reason that we start with Play-Doh is that it's really easy to cut. So that's what we're gonna start out with. First though, you want to make sure that your child actually has an interest in cutting. Um, so if you take out scissors and they're not excited and it's just the wrong time, that's okay. You can try a different time. You also want your child to have the hand strength in order to hold the scissors. So you can wait until your child has um, their finger muscles developed. Ideas for developing finger muscles are doing finger plays like Itsy Bitsy Spider. You could have hole punches, which also helps build that wrist, which is really important for scissor skills. So those are just a couple of, of ideas um, because they're gonna also have to coordinate, right? They're gonna do bilateral movement. So that's really important. Um, okay. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your child is holding scissors correctly. And this is actually a little bit difficult. Sometimes we see this kind of chicken wing um, thing going on and that's because, or in twisting, that's because that's what's natural for kids right away. So I always say, put your chicken wing in and hold, or you would even hold something, you know, um, a little stuffed animal or hold something there so you can encourage your child to hold your shoulder in. You want your child to um, put their thumb on the top, right? The top, their index finger and middle finger in on the bottom, and then these fingers underneath, just like this. Sometimes kids will do this and a twisting motion. And there's a couple things that you could do. You could say thumbs up. Remember, this is a thumbs up activity. So that's one thing and then give them a thumbs up. Another thing that you could do is put a little sticker, a smiley face, something, even like a marker, a heart on top, a star on top to remember that that is what you want to see is that sticker. Um, yeah, so let's see. Okay, so you want to practice opening and closing. So that's the first skill. You're gonna open to the top, close. Open, close. It's kind of a pushing motion out. And that requires some finger strength. So just start with that. Open, 
close, open, close. Okay, so the reason that you wanna teach with something like Play-Doh is it doesn't require precision. You're not cutting a specific line yet. You're not doing shapes. You're just cutting through this very soft material. So what you wanna do is practice in snips. And after you've practiced the open close, just in the air, it's really fun for them to start open, close, open, close, open, close. And you can do big chunks like that, like this, or you can do smaller chunks like that. And they get really fine and precise. And then you can play with the Play-Doh, which is really fun. Yeah, play is really important for scissor skills. You know, it is an activity that builds your um, child's readiness for kindergarten, but play and exploration is also really, really important. So they could make a little ball, they could flatten it out, um, and then try cutting with that. You know, you could cut in, you could cut shapes, open, close, open, close, open, close. So you're not even moving forward yet. You're just practicing that open, close. Okay, the next thing that you can try with your child, the next kind of stage after the Play-Doh, I like to try with a paper plate. Well, why a paper plate? It's much thicker material, and so that means that your child will be able to stabilize with the other hand. Um, like a flimsy piece of paper, it's actually really hard to stabilize with the other hand. Um, so you want to start with the, a plate. The other reason I like a plate is that it requires your child to turn, which is another skill that you have to have to turn um, things. And you're going to have to do that in kindergarten, right? Making crafts, um, cutting paper, cutting all kinds of things. So we're going to practice that open close again. What I've done is I've just drawn some lines across the paper plate um, and we're gonna practice cutting through those. So again, we're not moving yet. We're not moving forward. We're just doing that open close motion um, to hold one hand um, and then teaching to turn the paper. So here we go. Remember, no chicken wing. Open, close, open, close, open, close. And do you see how I'm having to turn the paper? I'm having to turn clockwise, um, which requires a lot of hand, requires a lot of hand-eye coordination. Okay, and then it's fun. You could turn it into a little sun, you could color it, and they can be very proud of their uh, cutting skills. Okay, so the next thing to use is construction paper, okay? If you have some construction paper, this is great because it's nice and thick, just like the paper plate. It's a little, it's a little more advanced though because a paper plate is even thicker, so they still have to hold with their left hand. And right now we're gonna teach moving forward with the scissors. So it's not just an open close, it's open, close, and then keep going, open, close, open, close. So you really wanna focus on pushing and stabilizing this hand. Now, before I actually uh, ask the kids to cut on a straight line using construction paper, I say, just play. Go forth and have fun. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to open, close, Push the wrist forward, open, close, forward, open, close. What if we wanna turn the paper? Let's turn it while you move forward and that makes a circle. So you can talk about straight lines, you can talk about curved lines, you can talk about shapes and really let them just explore all of their um, shapes that they want to create. Okay, the final step in um, 
in this series is you want to use cardstock. So again, the flimsy printer paper. I mean, it's great for older kids, but really starting out, you wanna use thicker paper. And this is even um, thinner than construction paper, so it's even harder. Now, after you've let them play for a little while, you can um, make different kinds of lines. So I'm gonna make a curved line, kind of like waves. See, there's a curved line. And this is gonna be quite the challenge because it's pushing forward, but adjusting your wrist along the way. Then I'm gonna make some mountains. Okay, so those are just two examples of lines that you can create um, for your child. And again, make sure that you are supervising this activity. Scissors, while these aren't blunt scissors, it's really important that you are there to watch and observe. And then to give some um, encouragement when they're doing things the way you'd like and um, to give some uh, helpful information for how we can improve, right? So I'm gonna start uh, with this line. Again, make sure that your chicken wing is tucked in, it's close to your body, the thumb is on top, and we're gonna push forward, and we're gonna hold the paper and turn it, and grasp it and turn it, and continuing this open-close motion. Open, close, and turn the paper open, close, open, close. And oh no, I made a mistake. I went too far. Well, guess what? That's absolutely okay. We always make mistakes. All we need to do is go back. We can go back to the red. This one is gonna be a little harder and kids are gonna be tempted to do this and put the um, bottom up front because that's, that's how they're, that's, that's the easiest thing for them to do. So make sure again that the chicken wing, and we're gonna go forward with an open close, and we're gonna twist the paper and make a triangle, open, close, open, close, and re really emphasize pushing that scissors all the way forward. All right, well that is the end of our scissor skills for our countdown to kindergarten. Uh, readiness series. Remember that having fun is the most important part. The child will learn because they're having fun. So always come back uh, at another time if your child is gets stressed out or is just not having a good experience learning. All right, thank you. Hola amigos, soy la señorita Stephanie de la Biblioteca Gilborden y hoy estoy aquí con ustedes para empezar un nuevo programa que se llama Cuenta Regresiva Hacia el Kinder, en donde les enseñaremos habilidades básicas para que los niños estén preparados para empezar el kinder. Hoy, lo que les vamos a enseñar es cómo cortar con tijeras. Muchos niños empiezan el kinder sin saber cómo detener o usar tijeras apropiadamente. Para empezar, la tijera apropiada para niños es la que no tiene punta. De 0 a 6 años, los niños deberían de usar una tijera con una curva. Vienen en opciones de metal o de plástico, que son las más seguras. También deberemos de recordar que lo más importante es que un niño de verdad enseñe interés de empezar a cortar con tijeras. Si todavía no tienen mucho interés o están muy pequeños, está completamente bien. Ellos, cuando estén preparados y tengan interés, les dejarán saber. Entonces, lo segundo sería, ¿cómo detenemos una tijera apropiadamente? La tijera de niños viene con un círculo pequeño y uno más grande abajo. El dedo gordo va en la parte de arriba y los otros dedos en la parte de abajo para poder tener control de la tijera para abrir y cerrar, para abrir y cerrar. También otra cosa es 
Para recordarles la parte que va arriba, que sería el dedo gordo, podemos poner un sticker, podemos rayarle con marcador. Así le recordamos a los niños que esta parte más chica del agujero más chico apunta para arriba cuando están cortando. Otra cosa de recordar es la forma que le tienes tu tijera. Muchos niños les gusta empezar a contar así porque ellos sienten que pueden venirse al nivel para ver bien con sus materiales. Pero la forma más segura es que les abajemos el hombrito y que lo tengan seguramente al lado de su cuerpo antes de empezar a cortar. La primer, el primer material que voy a usar hoy para cortar es plastilina porque está muy suave para cortar y sería una buena práctica. Entonces lo que vamos a empezar a hacer es asegurarnos que tengamos nuestras tijeras apropiadamente en los dedos, el dedo gordo en el agujero chiquito y los tres otros dedos en el agujero más grande. Nuestro brazo asegurado al lado del cuerpo y así podemos abrir y cerrar. Abrir y cerrar. Yo tenía mi plastilina en una forma de un, una lumbriz, pero si ustedes gustan, diviértanse, háganla en lo que ustedes quieran. Pueden hacer un círculo o un triángulo y ya cuando lo tengan listo pueden practicar en abrir y cerrar, abrir y cerrar. El otro material que les quiero enseñar hoy es un material más duro, que sería de un plato de papel. Vamos moviéndonos de materiales más suaves a más duros para darles prácticas a los niños y se asemilen a los materiales que usarán en la escuela. A este plato le dibujé líneas. Lo bueno de un plato es que está en forma de círculo y lo puedes mover hacia que vas cortando. Si les da buena práctica a los niños de aprender a cómo mover sus materiales cuando van recortando. Entonces voy a escoger una línea como esta y voy a poner mis tijeras allí para que veamos allí. Y vamos a cerrar. Ahí está nuestro primer corte. Entonces podemos seguir haciendo eso. Podemos escoger otra línea que tenemos aquí. Y vamos a abrir. Y cerrar. Vamos, podemos escribir muchas líneas sobre el plato y seguir cortando. El próximo material que les quiero enseñar es papel de construcción que es un poco más duro que un plato de papel y en este papel de construcción lo que hice fue escribir líneas ya cuando ven los niños que van aprendiendo más y se sienten más a gusto cortando y los ven más estabilizados con sus tijeras pueden empezar a darles proyectos un poquito más difíciles estas líneas las dibujé yo con marcador y lo que van a hacer es enseñarse a seguir las líneas. Entonces abrimos, esperamos nuestra línea y cerramos. Y abrimos y cerramos. Así vamos siguiendo las líneas. Entonces es un movimiento que añadimos a lo que estamos haciendo. Porque primero nada más vamos abriendo y cerrando. Y ahora vamos abriendo y cerrando y siguiendo la línea que dibujamos. Entonces aquí vamos y vamos a dar otro corte por aquí y otro más. Esta es una muy buena práctica, práctica para los niños que para que se sientan a gusto en usando las tijeras. Pueden hasta practicar si tienen una tarea que les han dado en el kinder o les van a dar en el kinder y ven que necesita cortes. Pueden ustedes dibujar las líneas que van a tener que recortar para que ellos practiquen primero antes de que empiecen la tarea. Entonces vamos así 
y otro corte. Y esto es el corte que hicimos de las líneas para arriba y para abajo. Ahora vamos a algo con un poquito más de curva. Entonces vamos a cortar y vamos a mover nuestro papel así como hoy vamos moviendo el plato para seguir la línea y vamos moviendo nuestro papel y nuestras tijeras. Estos, estas dos líneas son una forma muy buena y básica para empezar a cortar. Otra sugerencia que les damos es con cualquier pedazo de papel Dejen que los niños nada más los corten, que empiecen a cortar como ellos gusten. Pueden cortar líneas, una línea derecha, una, una línea en círculo, en cualquier forma que ellos gusten, que se diviertan, que encuentren la diversión en aprender, porque es la mejor forma de aprender. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos hoy en nuestro video. Recuerden que cada semana de agosto tendremos videos para ayudar a los niños a prepararse para el kinder. Los videos están en inglés y en español. Los miramos la próxima semana. Adiós.